No, you're not staring at a photo. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cody! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Cody! I love you! And many more! <laughs> Hope you didn't mind that. Um, but yes, it's your birthday, or technically yesterday was your birthday, or now it will be considered two days ago because it is now 12.08 here in Gaylord, Michigan. And it is, yes, yeah, 12.08 right now, so... I've been trying to make this video and I only allowed 15 minutes of I want to be able to put it to YouTube that I can actually share it. The one I made before that was 20 something minutes long. I sh put it on Facebook but for some reason it wouldn't let me share it because I wanted to put it on Twitter and hopefully someone could share it with you. Anyway, um, yes it is your birthday and I forgive me I wrote some notes to help me stay on track because <laughs> you only got 15 minutes. Is that enough time to talk about how amazing and incredible you are? Mm, not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I really, I hope everything's going good because I am going to, I'm going to be a little bit open and saying that I was a worrywart because all of a sudden, you know, you know, the 33 was happening, the Dove Keepers and all that stuff. Um, or, you know, photo, I don't know about photo shoots or anything, but you know, when stuff, when stuff's going on, you know, you're getting stuff and getting stuff and getting stuff and all of a sudden when you're getting stuff and getting stuff and, you know, you know, everything's going good, and all, but then all of a sudden when there's nothing for three months at a time, <laughs> um, I for me, for fans like me, it is cause for concern. <laughs> so I hope I don't freak you out in thinking that I am one of the super crazy fans that you probably want to avoid, um, but um, I hope not. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just because, um, I mean, I've never met you, but I want you to know that I care about you so much. So all of a sudden when these things were happening and there, there all of a sudden there was nothing, um, you know, there was, uh, there might have been a little bit here and there, you know, you did the Q&A thing and that kind of stuff for the 33, um, you know, which I thought, which I thought was pretty cool. I watched, I watched that and, uh. You know, there, all of a sudden there just wasn't that much. So I will admit that's one of the reasons why I'm glad that you're not on Twitter, besides normal drama, is because um, I was had a little bit of an emotional breakdown. <laughs> I mean, again, I've never met you. I hope to someday. I would love to meet you. It would be one of my dreams. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was becoming a worry wart and had a little bit of an emotional breakdown. I was, there was, I was crying and stuff like that. And, and I'm not saying any of this to make you feel bad. That's not any intended at all. It's, you probably, you know, you probably, you can, you know, hide when you want to because obviously you are. Uh, or, you know, you're, you know, taking downtime, spending time with family, doing, you know, hey, vacation. More of the power to you because I know you're a workaholic, okay? Be but... I was calmed down a little bit now because um, last week, um, you know, Michael said that, he, you know, he had recently talked to you about stuff, you know, you know, you guys, you guys, when you get together, who knows what happens, anything happens, <laughs> or, you know, at, or you know, at least talking, whether it was phone or email or whatever. Anyway, um, but uh, anyway, on that, um, I want to say that your guys' is your relationship I think is amazing and you guys love each other and care about each other so much and you're supportive and you can you complete be when you can be completely open with someone about anything you know anything and you know to have that type of friendship that really close friendship I think is amazing and it's a rarity in this world so you got some you guys have something really special together and I hope you know that I know you know that I don't think. I know. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm looking at the light here and looking at me and I'm like, this makes me look like a pale person, which I am kind of pale. And anyway, I'm getting off track here. I only have 15 minutes to be able to do this. Um, so yes, it's your birthday and you're 37, which I turned, I actually turned 27 this year. So we're actually a decade apart. I was born in 1989, uh, in June. But yeah, back to, um... You guys, just the chemistry that you guys put on screen for Tony and Ziva, I think, was amazing, and um, and you could see it uh, behind the camera as well as on screen. Um, I am so thankful for the what you guys gave us, what you gave us as in terms of the character and the relationship. Um, I 
a lot of us, we believed it could have been so much more. I cried when you first left. I really cried when you first left. <laughs> and I saw this and I start talking about Ziva. I just, I just start crying because I care about the character so much. I care about you so much and I never want anything bad to happen to you <laughs> ever. I'm like, no one messes with Cody and gets away with it. She basically has an army because her fans are not going to let anything happen. I'm like, yeah, that's what I was uh, I was thinking. When, when I was worrying, I was like, is something happening? Is she, did, you know, because, you know, we, because all of a sudden there was nothing, but also we didn't know, uh, were you just on vacation? Were you this, that? So we, we didn't know. So I was freaking out, like, <laughs> you know, did something happen with family or is she sick or what? You know, there's, there's nothing. What's going on? <laughs> but I'm a little more calm now. And, um... But yeah, as in terms of I love this Eva character, I felt bad when she left. I felt terrible. I stayed continuing watching the show until um until Tony left. Um and then that's when I was just like I'm I'm done with with the show. I'm sorry if that upsets you. I mean, it, this is not to upset you in any way at all. I you you have your reasons for leaving and you know, you've expressed them a little bit and that's okay. Um I mean, tons of us fans have decided that no matter what CBS says, you and Tony, Ziva, Tony, and Tali are now, uh, you guys are in Paris together. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, would I love to actually see something on screen, like a Tivali reunion? <laughs> it's a, you probably heard that by now, it's, to it's Tiva and Tali. That's their names, the names put together. So it's Tivali. <laughs> did I come up with that or did someone else come up with that? I probably came up. I'm probably wondering if I'm the one that came up with it. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not it at all. But anyway, um, yes, this is, this is your birthday video. So I have to focus here. <laughs> I like to go off on rabbit trails, as you can see. Um... And again, the stuff that I was saying about me being heartbroken about Ziva possibly being gone, because part of me, I will admit that I did have a low point because part of me believed that you didn't want to come back just because of personal stuff, which is, you know, at the same time, it's okay, even though at the same time, so much I wished for to see, to at least see you again. Or, you know, as, as Eva, anyway, you know, to know that you're alive. <laughs> and, you know, the guy's happy and everything. Um, again, this, is a, this isn't to make you feel bad at all, but, you know, I want you, you know, you're happy. You, you know, to become different characters. I'm, I'm wearing a little bit of a sheer blue, which is also, I got um, my Dove Keepers book. I hope you like my little display. I got Dove Keepers. I got the 33. You were incredible in that. <laughs> Um, I mean, you you were not actually like a main main character, but you were incredible. Uh, see, I mean, I I will admit, I hope this isn't too embarrassing, but seeing that that first scene where you and your husband are walking to the um to the table, and um you know you guys you know you guys are sitting down, I was like, oh my god, I love her waddle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just love seeing you in a pregnant role was just awesome. And then all this, you know, then more days are going by and there was, you know, you know, finally made contact and everything with everybody down below. I mean, the, the story is incredible and it's awesome. Uh, I, I am one of the crazy fans that, okay, if I see someone in a pregnant role, I've, especially if it's a character or a person that I like, I was like, so is there going to be more to that? Because all of a sudden I was like, okay, the character went into labor. I was like... So are we going to go back to that? Are we going to go back to that? Are we going to see something? Like, I, I was hoping for an actual uh, birth scene. Sorry if it sounds too gross or whatever, because, I mean, to me, personally, to me, I just think that birth is a, a beautiful thing, and I think that's awesome. But but I was a little disappointed. I was disappointed because there wasn't one. But, you know, the overall story was incredible. So that's, that's that to, you know, I'm just expressing myself. And, um, yeah, I thought that was amazing. Um, I thought Dove Keepers was great. Um... I wish it could have been more like the book, but I did like the change of, um, Shira not dying, because <laughs> in the book she does. And also when, how I got introduced to the book was learning that you were going to be on the miniseries, so I wanted to get, you know, to know the characters and immersed into the world and everything, and, um, 
And that, but as I was reading the book, that's when all of the, the production photos were coming out. So you kind of know what the characters are going to look like and all that kind of stuff. So as I was reading the book, I was imagining you guys doing whatever the characters are doing in the book, <laughs> you know, so which I thought was really cool. I mean, again, I wish, you know, there could have been, there could have been more. I mean, I know there was probably, there was probably a lot of people that were complaining there was too much in it. I mean, I mean, yes, it's in the book, but there's enough stuff in between to where it's not like monotonous or whatever, which as the miniseries had a little bit, but um, anyway, anyway, I mean, you know, each character, that's who the characters are. They, you know, they have a lover, they go out of Masada and, you know, there's the story and everything. But I did draw, after I looked at this, this uh, picture here, it's actually a signed copy by Alice Hoffman. I got it uh, through, via Twitter, sort of. Mm -hmm. There was a QA and a thing that Alice Hoffman was doing, and a few people who participated got a couple copies. Um, but yeah, I drew pictures here. Like, if there was the other girls, there's, you know, there's Shira, Yael, um, Rivka. And Aziza, Rebecca, <laughs> um, Rivka, um, who I imagine playing her, I can't remember her name for the life of me, um, Agashlu or whatever, the, 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 you met the woman before, she was in the NCIS episode, um, Safe Harbor, where there was that Lebanese family that was on the ship, and, you know, you're talking questions, like, with the mother and all that, and the son locked you and locked you guys in the room. Her, her voice is actually kind of, her voice is, her voice is very low like this, and it's kind of recognizable that way. Her, she played Miriam or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's who I imagine, like, she would have been perfect for Rika, you know? That's, but, you know. Anyway, it was very good, very well done, and, the, you know, the story to shed light on what happened there was amazing. And um, I got a NCIS hat. I got it red because I was, you know, into the Dove Keepers, you know, you know, you know, you have the points where, oh, I feel like I'm in Dove Keeper mode or, or Lion King mode because I love Lion King. So I like to draw and stuff like that. But anyway, um, but back to you. <laughs> Sorry, long rabbit trail. Um, I think that you are a very, you're a very beautiful woman. You are an inspiration to hundreds of fans around the world and in the U.S. Um, we care so much about you. Um, and I, I wasn't the only one who was worrying. <laughs> I become a worry ward. I was like, what's going on? I hope nothing's happening. And I was, I was crying a little bit. But anyway, you know, vacation time, spending time with the family, that's all important stuff. And I also think that's one of the most amazing things about you is that you don't let your status affect who you are as a person, you know, you love your fans, you care about your fans and family and stuff, you know, and you're very a uh, genuine down to earth person. And we love you for that. We think you're just an amazing person. Um, and hope to see you in more future projects and everything and wish you the best of luck, you know, whatever comes your way. Or, I mean, you know, whether it's more projects or whether you, if you decide to, to settle down do the family thing, that's awesome. You ever find Mr. Right? Because I want you to be happy, you know, and be successful in life and find love and, and everything. And the, uh, <laughs> uh, just to, you know, be happy. I mean, I mean, to be, you know, to, you know, re sometimes real, for real, in life, life is up, and, you know, there's ups and downs. Sometimes, I'm pretty sure there are days where you're like, you, you know, you might see stuff from fans or whatever, if you ever look online, and be like, you know, people say I'm always beautiful, I'm always, like, I'm flawless, I'm the perfect person, and sometimes you might not feel so perfect. I'm like, yeah, um, are you a very beautiful woman? Yes, inside and out. You show what you are a very shining light in this darkened world. Um, we love you so much, but you know, we care about you no matter what has gone on in your life. We love you that much. Life is ups and downs, slippery slopes, we make mistakes, we get angry, we get sad, we get emotional. I'd be like, hey, if I could, I'd be like, here, let me give you a hug. But yeah, I want you to know that we love you so much. We care about you. We hope to see you in future projects. And I can't express how much I keep I keep saying I love you. That's because I do. We love you so much. And mwah. <sighs> love you, Cody. You're amazing. And see you soon.